jealous at all that the baby is definitely more famous than you? Is that a problem? Is that a problem for you? No, Jelly. Let my baby grow. who is amazing, absolutely wonderful. Uh, and he was talking about keeping the secrets. You're great at keeping the secrets, but what's the hardest thing about doing press? Because you're about to start doing press for this show, and you can't say anything. How do you handle that? The hardest part is how all of the creative ways journalists find to try to trick you. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane, and, I, and I've, I've gotten really good at it too. I was like, they was like, Start a sentence, and I know by in, in, in the four sentences they're going to ask for a spoiler. Yeah. But um, the easiest part about it actually is that I don't want anything to be spoiled for anybody. I really, really don't. Like I've protected this. And I'm a I'm a big mouth. Yeah. I I, I I I don't keep a lot of secrets. And with this, it's been really easy because I don't, I want I want everyone to experience it for the first time. And I, I want everything to be a surprise, and there are surprises coming.
estamos aquí en Star Wars Celebration, hoy es el último día y vamos a hacer algunas entrevistas con algunos cosplayers y ahorita nos encontramos con Captain Rex. How are you? How do you feel to be back at Celebration after the pandemic and two years without this magnificent event? I'm feeling pretty good. I would say that this has definitely been my quarantine activity that I was doing. Uh, I finished my helmet easily in that June where everything got shut down and it's just been a great, slow, tiring process to finally get here and this is actually my first suiting up of the suit and it feels great, it really does and I'm loving all the people and all the reactions it's really giving me confidence to keep going and to do another one Oh, you know, it feels great um, it's been It's been a long time coming, you know, and, and I think that like the two years that like everyone took off from conventions, like it really paid off because people had two years at home to work on their cosplays and they are sick. Really good. We've had these tickets since 2019. Um, so we've kept them throughout the pandemic and we were not going to miss it. So we feel great. Yeah, it's really good. It's good to showcase hard work and kind of everything that we've done during the pandemic just to kind of show our love for cosplay and for Star Wars. So. Yeah. Did you make your cosplay or did you buy it? I, so I bought this. This is from Berserk Studios. They're from California. Um, I did all the attaching myself, uh, sewing on Velcro, which was a pain in the butt for the best, but everything else went pretty smoothly. So I had all the armor pieces uh, made, but other than that, the cutting, the trimming, putting together, the painting, all of it, that was all me. That was all me. Someone who's definitely better with plastics than me <laughs> did the armor, so I got to give credit to that. Um, a little bit of both. So we have a lots of friends on Instagram and Etsy and stuff, so we take a lot of inspiration from a lot of other places. Uh, little things here and there. We've got the lightsaber at Disneyland, and then we yeah. had a custom... This was uh, custom... Custom me. Yeah, this was custom by our friend Michael, uh, fan fiction props, shout out uh, Michael in Georgia. Did this, did BD back here, um, did all the custom work with the harness. Uh, everything else was made by her. Most of it's all made by, handmade by yeah. her, sewn. Other um, like a few things like about the boots and yep. uh, just kind of like here and there what we can find. We're from Arizona, so it's not really like, it's kind of hard. You have to know where to shop and when things are on sale, they get them. But. And how long did it take you to complete everything? Everything? So the long answer is I finished the helmet in about uh, a month, but the rest was just a slow trickle over the last couple years. And I just really crammed it the last two weeks to put it all together for this event. Uh, I would say it took maybe two months to get my uh, kit done. Uh, everything was done like custom to my size. And I'm a lanky gal, so I imagine that probably wasn't the easiest. Um, and then the attaching of the armor and everything took me a couple weeks. Uh, it was a lot of trial and error. Had to switch around some sewing machines to get through that thick material. But we're here. We made it. Everything's attached, hopefully. Except for my rangefinder, but that's okay. Yeah. Like I said, we're from Arizona, so we were going to showcase them at the Phoenix Comic Con that was supposed to happen Memorial Day weekend. So I think we started building them like in February. And yeah. we both worked full time, so it's just kind of an expensive hobby that we have. So I'd say, I would say maybe a couple of weeks. Like we really just kind of were like, we just want to blow through it. We're bored. Like we <laughs> played through the game a couple of times. So we're like, yeah, let's just make characters. I'd, I'd say the the full, maybe like six months, took everything, all the pieces together, finding everything, sitting down and doing it. Really, it was six months about. Yeah. yeah. I think we had we had like an impromptu photo shoot in our kitchen where we just put yeah. up like curtains and then we had like our own lights and our remote control camera and that was basically it. We just kind of were like, yeah, that's it. And then they sat in the closet for two years and we didn't do anything with them. <laughs> and what do you like the most about being here at Star Wars Celebration? Honestly, I love seeing all the other cosplayers. I love seeing people's creativity and like what they can put together. Um, I got to meet Katie Sackoff, which was a dream come true for me. Um, just getting to see all my fellow nerds, honestly. Uh, just the, you know, everyone here celebrating Star Wars. I mean, obviously it's called Celebration, but you see so many people, you know, that are celebrating this universe that has been created that, um, you know, we, we come here and we feel like we're at home, not home, but we feel like we're an extension of our home. Um, and so we've been doing cosplay for, you know, only about three or four years now. Yeah. 
Um, and so this one's, you know, one of the best cons we've ever been to. So Everybody's we keep coming really back. Welcoming. So it's nice yeah. to come to a place where everyone like knows your character and like has played the game. Like we've had dozens of people come up to say like, oh, I loved your characters. Like I loved you guys together. I'm like, us too. We want more. <laughs> <laughs> so we're excited. It's fun. It's, it's a good place to be. It's definitely everyone should enjoy it at least for a day or two. Yes, everyone should come to Celebration at least once. Experience it. It's fantastic. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much and keep enjoying your convention. Thank you so much. I, I really am. Four days. I, I, you know, I wish there was four more days to do it. Uh, it's just great just to drown in Star Wars. It's really fun.